just want to check. I don't know why it doesn't do anything now when I click on the button. Oh, there we go. All right, it's just taking a little bit longer. Maybe it's because I'm running it through the cable um, to my computer. Um, okay, so then all you do is you look for the file, the latest one on the receiver, the last one. So I'm going to look for 2012. This is my file. No, it's not my file. That This is my file. Let me just click modify to show me the files in order. Sorry, it's taking a little bit longer. But this is my file. I can see it there with the date. And then you can say import. You can also delete the files of your receiver as well. If um, if there's a lot of files and you scared that your memory might run out on your receiver, you can also click on the files and delete them here. I'm just going to take that one, import it. That's the file name. So very important, just try and remember that name or write it down because it auto automatically gives the files a name. I'm just writing down this name of mine. Okay, I click on import or start. And now it's copying that file from the receiver onto my controller. Okay, one file transferred successfully. Click on OK. And then I'm going to escape. And then I'm going to shut down my base. I'm just going to say power down the receiver. And that's it. That's your field work. How you do your post processing in the field. So the next step is you go to the office, download this data into Business Center, and then post process it or process the, your data so I'm just gonna open Trimble Business Center here first of all you plug your controller in using your USB cable make sure that it's connected to your computer and then open Trimble Business Center open a file I'm just gonna say start a new project choose your correct template if you don't have a template choose anyone from a list just to get the job started and then you can change your coordinate systems um, when your job opens. I'll show you now a way to do it. Just waiting for my file to open. Go to project, project settings or you can just go to that coordinate system and this is where you can change your coordinate systems. Okay, click on change and choose the correct one from the list. This is your project settings. You can go through the whole list. Make sure that everything is on. You can also check on uh, baseline processing. And you can uh, go to processing. Make sure that your frequency is set to multiple frequencies. And your processing interval is set to use all data. And it's not a certain interval that you set to. Uh, your quality, so this will show you if your point is out by more than what it's set up here. It will give you a flag, tell you that uh, your processing isn't didn't go well or the point is out by certain uh, your satellites. Make sure that all your GPS and GLONASS satellites are ticked on. Just gonna say OK. So when your controller has connected, then uh, you'll you should see it here on the right hand side in Trimble Business Center. Open your uh, you can expand that to see your folders. So my login fold, folder for my controller is this one, U to Optron. So make sure you click on the correct one. You'll see there's my job. If you click on other files you'll see that there is your PP demo the one uh, 
this is your rover file so you can import that okay uh, I just clicked on this to refresh view and there's my other file it didn't update yet so if you don't see your file it should be uh, under other files under your login for that controller so that PP demo is my rover file and that one is the file from my base okay so if you don't see it there immediately just click on refresh so what you can do is you can import these two files at the same time I'm just going to select them both take them drag them and drop them into your window okay and there it will show you your points so there's my base and there's the V1 and it will sh show you the duration of the time it was recording so my base there only 14 minutes and then 10 minutes and 40 seconds for my point you also check on your antenna if it picks up your antenna type if it doesn't you need to update your GPS configuration files I'll show you now where to do that if you click on antenna it says your unknown type or on your receiver also it says unknown you need to update around the updates for Trimble Business Center I'm just going to click OK so it will import so it will import the base file and the rover file and it will make a baseline between these two so it's not processed yet let me just show you where to do your updates you click on help and you click on check for updates so the one that you need is your GPS configuration update so then it will say checking for updates and then you'll see a list of updates and you just choose the ones that you want or you can update everything uh, I just want to see if oh, there is one this is the one that you're going to need GPS configuration files utility okay so you click on that I'm not going to do the update now and you say install updates okay or you can check every all of them and do the whole lot at one time okay um, alright so your next step is to click on survey and you say process baselines and it will start the process for you and there we go it will show your position precision horizontal 12 mils vertical 9 mils so I'm very happy with this it will show the length of your baseline how far it is between those your base and your and your rover okay mine is only four meters because it's just a demonstration video and then you say save and you'll see the color of your baseline change to blue and that's it and then you can select this point and there's your coordinates for that point okay for more intense um, information about post processing please go to this if you go to the start page from business center tutorials there's a very very nice guide here a manual there processing uh, GNSS baselines it will explain more intense about process post processing and network adjustments and all those sort of things um, this video is just for a basic guideline to do post processing